it's time to paint more book. So I have paint his two minions, okay? This is one, and this is the other one, and I will do more good. Uh, I will do more good to do the same type of color scheme that you see in these guys, okay? So it's going to be red armor, dark red armor with metallics and, and maybe some uh, bronze colors. So I will start doing the base. I will do as well the base here in this tutorial and I will start applying uh, the Willwood contrast on the base. Okay, again, here, when you're using uh, contrast paints, don't use your best brush. Okay, and I will apply this on all these small blocks or stones. Okay, I try to avoid to go over the the schools and over the rocks. I try to, although if I go a little bit, I don't care too much. Next is the 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 ground, so it can be dirty. So I'm going to apply this and I'm back once it's done. Okay, then I will use a um, military green okay, to do some spots that I left white, okay, I left without brown. And especially uh, I, I left spots where I see like, um, I don't know how to say it, areas where uh, the, the type of stones are look, look smaller or look different. Okay. But I'm using this type of very roundy green to not make it too different. And as you can see, I don't wait that the previous wash, the previous uh, contours have dry because I don't mind if they mix. I even like it. Okay, and now I'm going to use basilicum grey on the stones and again I'm not waiting that the brown device I'm just applying this when I apply this on the stones I try to um, not apply too much okay I don't want the stones to look black okay I went a little bit on top of the foot but it's not a problem Okay, so don't worry if you pick a little bit of the brown, but I think it's working. Okay, and will help to create the end. The rock will be a little bit dirty of the sand around and other elements. So this is why I'm not too much concerned. So and then I will wait the device. So for the bones I need that everything is dry. So I will finalize this and now I wait the device. Okay, next I'm going to use a little bit of XV88 to do some highlights on uh, oh, dry brushing, I have to say, on this, on the ground of this guy. Let's take this one.
if that is good enough. Now I'm going to take uh, our green camo and I will do the same. can do different parts to give this a little bit of a look and then I can do it a little bit on the rocks. Okay, next I'm going to use Blacker Flesh and I'm going to do all note rubber brushing on the rocks. Okay, now I'm going to use Ushapti bone and I will paint the bones with this color. I already have it on my palette, so this one. This is one of the big advantages of the wet palette. I put this color on the palette yesterday. Okay, and it is still I'm still able to use it. The only thing is I have to keep moisturing the palette continuously. So I will do all the ones and then back. Next, I'm going to use Iron Breaker and I will do these knives that are on the base. This rest of weapons. I will use Desert, for example, it's one. To make the handle here. Yeah, it's not the handle. I guess it's an arrow or broken arrow. This one broken, broken spear, maybe broken spear. Okay, I'm going to use seraphine sepia and do a wash on the bones. and I'm back for the next time. So once the wash has dry, now I'm going to use a shakti bone and I'm going to highlight the bones.
same here. Looks more like a mass than bone because there is a nose. They will leave it like that. Right. Now I'm going to use Agwex Air Shade. And I will finalize here the base, right? And we can start working on the miniature. So I will finalize here this part where I just talk on, on the base. I prefer to talk the base just separately. And now we are going to be ready. To go. I have to put a little bit here because I missed something. We're going to go put a little bit on the rock like that. Okay. You just see that it's too flat in some areas. Will help to good. So I will wait at this device and now we are ready to start the work on the org. So that's all for this first part, just the uh, base preparation. A very uh, the, the first part is quick and now keep tuned if you want to know how I paint the org.